Hi guys and welcome back to Empowerment Technology. In today's video, we are going to talk about the ICT online platforms in creating web content. This is about the online creation tools and platforms exist for users to utilize in order to create content that corresponds to professional tracks such as academics, sports, arts and design, and technical vocational courses. An online marketplace that places one party in touch with another such as buyers and sellers examples are eBay, Amazon Marketplace, Airbnb, and Uber. The online system may be entirely self-contained or it may allow third-party apps to connect via the platform programming interface. In personal computing, a platform is the basic hardware or the computer and software is the operating system on which software applications can be run. Online platforms or online website created to aid users in creating their web content and cater to different kinds of information such as text, images, and videos. Online platforms are strong drivers of innovation and play an important role in digital society and economy. They increase consumer choice, improve efficiency and competitiveness of industry and can enhance civil participation in society. The different online platform and web design elements and principles and application used to create a good online presentation, web page, and content, learners should know the principle and techniques of design using online creation tool, platform, and application to develop ICT content. This lesson contains varied activities that can help you as a senior high school student to not just be a computer literate individual but a creative and critical thinker as well as responsible user and competent producer of information and communication technology. We are on the information age on which information seems so easy to reach. One of the tools that we usually use if we need to answer a question from your subject is a website. Which can we use if we are online? A website is a set of related resources from the web. These resources were considered as web pages and multimedia. Websites or applications are now accessible through smartphones. It is up to us users on how we use it. In this activity, using your smartphone or computer, we are going to list down 10 websites or applications you usually use or visit and you need to identify the best feature that you like on it. The first item listed on the table is an example to guide you on this activity. On the listed items you presented in our previous activity, it shows that website is a tool for information and entertainment. However, there are websites that offers you more than just reading articles or listening to your music. These are what we call online platform enabled website. A platform enabled website or online platform gives a feature on which allows to manipulate the content of the website. Most of the online platforms requires you to register in order to publish, manipulate, organize, or even delete a certain web content. As a senior high school student, you are expected to know the different online platform as this would help you in different tasks like connect to people, stream your daily activity, shop online, or even creating a website of your own. Before I introduce the different types of online platforms which you can use, Let's take a close look on how technologies are used these days. Look at this picture. This picture shows that each one of us has skill of being in an information literate. Since information can be reached just a click away, it is only up to us to know how we create or how we evaluate the information that we garnered from online resources. Here are the three types of online platforms. We have social media platforms, blogging platforms, and content management system or CMS. 
social media platforms. These platforms allows you to create your personal account or profile. After you register on this website, it will allow you to create pages or even groups where you can share content and ideas. Social media platforms enables you to connect yourself to other users and get updates on their news feed. Example of a social media platforms are Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Second, blogging platforms. A, this is a platform on where a writer or even a group of writers can share views on an individual subject. It is comparable to a newsletter where you can add menus, designs, or even multimedia of a subject. Blogger is a very good example of a blogging website. If you love to write or you want to share ideas online, blogging platform is the perfect tool you can use. And lastly, Content Management System or CMS. One of the features of this platform is that you can publish your own website and manage its content through intranet or in a single computer. This is a software where you can easily create, update, organize, and publish the content of your website. A popular example of CMS is the WordPress. For activity number two, you are going to identify which online platform to use. Now you have learned the three types of online platform. These online platforms are tools that you can use to create information, share ideas, and connect to other people. Below, there are 10 situations Read every item carefully and identify which online platform is the best to use. Web page is designed for World Wide Web, on which it is considered as the document inside it. Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Apple Safari are web browser which you can use in order to access a web page. Nowadays, web page serves as an important role in the business world. Web page allows business to showcase their company and advertise their products. Even social media sites allows us users to boost their popularity. This will help the users to promote their business or advocacy to the other users online. If you're planning to create a web page of your own, you can use a website builder like WordPress, Wix, or Adobe Dreamweaver. These website builders are very powerful tool and user-friendly on which you can create website by just dragging and dropping the elements of your website. However, there are certain elements and principles in building your own website. These are the seven elements of a modern web design. Text, graphics and illustrations, white space, links, color, video or audio, and background. For the text, this is a mandatory element of a web page. However, visitors got distracted about the font family of the text on a website. So, while you are designing your website, make sure that you choose well the font family and type that you need to use or what type of um, font you need to use on your design and make the text clear as much as possible or readable uh, as much as possible. The size of the font should be readable and clear. This is an example of text. Number two. Graphics and illustrations. You need to make sure that your images or illustrations are not pixelated or must be on a good quality. There are times that text give description to an image so you make that these two elements are well arranged. You need to make sure that these two elements are well arranged. Example of this. Number three, white space. Having a crowded website, it is very hard to direct the attention of your visitor's eye. These white spaces gives your website a room to breathe. Port 1. Links Links or hyperlinks allows users to jump to another site or page that is related to 
to your website. Okay? Do not forget to to use links or hyperlinks to transfer from one page to, to another. Number five, color. The colors you use in your design is a very important aspect. There are times that colors become visually distracting to your viewers. As some web designers do, they use the company logo of their client as their color reference on their website. Number six, video or audio. There are sites that uses audio and video to help their visitors to better understand what they are selling or pitching. These elements of web designing really helps your visitors, especially those websites that offers tutorial of a certain subject and lastly background texture or background gives a more appealing site to your website this will provide your website a feeling of a surface underneath with the use of elements of web design it will make your website more appealing to your users but you need to make sure that your website is functional responsive and useful to create a usable and effective website, you must follow the basic principles of an effective web design. So you need to follow portable design, design for low bandwidth, direction, simplicity, and regular testing. A portable design, it means that a website design must be portable and accessible. Your need to must your meet your need to meet the compatibility with other operating system and web browser you should also design your website on which it can be accessed to a different computer platforms or devices especially for those visitors who uses mobile de device to access a website number two design for low bandwidth not all users who are online are connected to a high-speed internet connection in designing a website, you need to avoid large graphics or animations as the users may leave the site if downloading is very slow. Next principle is the direction. You need to identify the order of the importance of the various elements and place them in a sequence where the eye moves and perceives the things it sees. There should be consistent layout and structure. Number four. Simplicity. The more option you place in your site, the more difficult it is for a visitor to make a decision and more time is required to browse through them. That's what they usually say, simplicity is beauty. And lastly, regular testing. Every device or project needs maintenance, same as your website. Websites should be regularly upgraded, updated, and tested so that problems will be quickly resolved. Visitors who have encountered any errors like prob problems in loading or viewing in your website will not hold on. Web page design using templates and online receive. WYSIWYG is an acronym for what you see is what you get. There are many tools on creating or designing a website. However, there are tools offers WYSIWYG process. These are tools on which the content or the text and graphics can be edited in a form closely um, resembling its appearance when printed or displayed as a finished product such as a printed document web page or slide presentation so this is an example of a WYSIWYG web website wherein it allows you to create your own website the feature of Wix is its interface is one of the most intuitive slick and powerful in the ever-growing group of website building services. Wix offers standout features such as online storage for your site assets, cool video backgrounds, animations for titles, and mobile. Another example is Weebly. 
This free website builder allows you to build beautiful websites in a very short period of time, even if you do not have any programming background. Next, we have WordPress. It is the world's most popular tool for creating websites. Actually, WordPress is capable of creating any style of website, from a simple blog to a full-featured business website. You can even use WordPress to create an online store. And lastly, Drupal. It is a well-known, it is a very well-known um, content management system intended to help advanced designers to create a powerful website capable of handling large volumes of visitors and hundreds of pages of content. But the thing is, among these four, Wix website is more advantageous than the other, especially for you um, senior high school students because it offers free professional and business web hosting services. Wix also has an iOS and Android app which you can use to manage your website whenever you do not have access to your computer. Wix is another website that offers its users to create their own website. The advantage of using Wix is that knowledge of website programming is not a prerequisite. It also offers a wide range of templates. These templates have been designed for every purpose intended by the user. This is possible because different website developers contribute to the pool of themes available. Wix offers a drag and drop facility as well. Users can simply grab elements such as text box, photos, and shapes to arrange them in the layout they want. Eh? So, Wix is a WYSIWYG web hosting service and these are the advantages of using Wix. So, for today's lessons activity, I will upload on a separate uh, file, probably on our Google Classroom, your activity for today's lesson. That's it for this video and if you have any comments, suggestions, or clarifications, please leave a comment down below and please do not forget to subscribe. Like and share the video as well as click the bell notification icon so that you are updated when our next video comes up.